Hello, everybody. My name I'm is Faith. I will say first. Okay, fine. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hello. My name is Grace. Okay, so it is my second time of recording, right? Yeah. I think the second time. Recording the English Bible, right? Ah, uh, yes. So today we will read fifth chapter. Fifth chapter. Abraham sacrifices Isaac. Abraham obeyed God, which is in Genesis twenty-two. Okay, should I read first? Yes, sure. Thank you. <coughs> Abraham worshipped God. He prayed to God. He wanted to please God. Abraham was God's friend. Friend. Oh, I also want to be God's friend, actually. One day, God told Abraham, "Put your son Isaac on that altar." God said, "He will die there." Eight. Ah. Actually, uh, I want to talk with God like Abraham. Oh, really? Yes. Me too. Okay, can I get the next page? Okay. Abraham was very sad. He didn't want his son to die, but God said he must do this. What should Abraham do? See, why Abraham really didn't want to kill um, Le, Isaac was Isaac. No. Isaac. Yeah, we said. Isaac. Yeah. No, you said Isaac. <laughs> no. Yeah. Because um. Because he was the only one son he had, so he really loved him. Okay, but he loved God more. So Abraham knew that what he must do, he must obey God. He is so happy, but he's not gonna die out there. Ha 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 ha! Stop. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> okay, but God did not let Isaac <laughs> die. Stop. God said, "Do not. I do not want Isaac to die now. I know what you really." I know that you really obey and trust me. It means God tested Abraham, <laughs> and it was. Now you do. <laughs> Abraham was very happy. He wanted home. Went home with Isaac. <laughs> Are you happy that Abraham obeyed God? Of course, I'm happy. What happened? <laughs> 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 well, the three chapters, no, five chapters, right? Maybe. So we're, today we'll do until ten chapters, okay? <sighs> Sixth chapter, Jacob's dream. Jacob saw a ladder. Genesis twenty-seven to twenty-eight. Jacob was very sad. He had to run away from home. He had to go. Well, Captain Space. Now you read. Okay. Jacob <laughs> walked <laughs> home. Then he walked <laughs> for <laughs> home. Then he stopped. It was time to sleep. <laughs> now let's stop, okay? Because she, you know, she tickled me first, so I tickled again, and she said, and I was like. Please, I never read. I have read. Okay. <laughs> okay. That night, Jacob had a dream. He saw a ladder. It went all the way up to heaven. Angels went up and down the ladder. Then God talked to Jacob. I will give you say. God I say, will go with you. I what? Where? Will go with. I, you. I will go with you. God say, I will help you. <laughs> Yay! Hooray! What happened? Ah, mm. Mama, <laughs> you're so bad. Okay. <laughs> Just okay. <kidding>. Bye. <laughs> okay. Do it. I read it. Okay. Jacob stopped dreaming. He sat up. God was here. He said.
said, and God will go with me. Okay. What are you doing? Jacob was happy. He wanted God, <laughs> God to go with him. He wanted God to help him. Seventh chapter. God helped Joseph. Joseph had a twelve son. Oh, Genesis thirty-seven to forty-one chapter. Jacob has had twelve sons, but he loved Joseph the most. He gave Joseph the best clothes. He gave him the most delicious food. One day, Joseph had a dream. In his dream, he became the ruler of his brother over his brother. He boasted out of dream to his father and brother. His brothers hate Joseph even more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One day, a brother said, "Let's kill Joseph." Another brother said, "Don't kill him. Let's sell him as as a slave." The brothers sold Joseph to me. Median, <coughs> median. <coughs> Merchants. What happened? <laughs> Merchants. Joseph became a slave in Egypt. What did you say again? What is this word? Merchants. Yeah. Good. Okay. Next. Here we go. Joseph came to the house of Potiphar, a general. General of Egypt. He worked hard. Joseph was helpless, helpless slave, but God helped him. God blessed the house of Potiphar because of Joseph. One day, something bad happened. Potiphar's wife lied to his husband. She said, "Joseph is a bad slave." Potiphar put Joseph in a prison. Got us with Joseph in the press. Joseph took care of the presents. One day, Joseph in <coughs> inter <coughs> interpreted the Dang. dream. And interpreted uh, interpreted the dream of two. Power prisoners. <laughs> prisoners. They were ah, helpers ah. <laughs> to of the king. A few days later, their dream came true. 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 Okay. True. Thank true. you. Thank you, Grace. Um, please make your face here. Please make your face. You have to do this one. No, oh. I'm finished. One night, the Egyptian. Wait, I can't see. Please race. <laughs> one night, the Egyptian king had two strange dreams. In one dream, seven skinny cows ate of seven healthy cows. In another dream, seven dried them bundles of grains ate of seven healthy bundles of grains. What does this dream mean? The king asked many people. No one could tell the meaning of the dream. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Then the king's helper remembered Joseph. He was in jail with Joseph. Joseph can interpret the dream. Interpret the dream. The king said. Of Joseph, <laughs> no, for please. Joseph, they dream means that for the next seven years you will have good year. You will <coughs> harvest plenty of crops. Crops, okay, crops, but. You will also have seven bad years. You won't have any crops. You must prepare for the fam, fam, 
A farmer said to him, the king was very pleased. The king was amazed and happy with Joseph's wisdom. The king said, you're very wise. I want you to rule. I want you to rule my people. The, the king made Joseph a ruler over Egypt. God took care of me, said Joseph. God was with Joseph. Joseph Should I read this chapter first? No. Joseph forgave his brothers. Joseph's brothers were not good to him. They did bad things to him. Because for them, Joseph had hard time, hard time in Egypt. But God was with Joseph. God helped him. God gave Joseph wisdom. God made him a ruler of Egypt. Joseph forgave his brother. As Joseph said, they have seven good years with God's help. Joseph saved up crops. After that, seven bad years followed, but they had plenty of foods in Egypt. See, I said I should read the first. The brother meet the... Governor? <laughs> Governor in the place. Palace. Oh, palace. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, didn't know that the Egypt, the Egyptian, Egyptian, ah, uh, Egyptian, yes. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know so many words. <laughs> Governor was Joseph. Joseph's brother went to the buy some food. Joseph knew they were his brothers. Joseph said, you are this. <laughs> you are the spies. You want You're to know spies. how much food we have. Okay, now you want the brother. Okay. The brothers were shocked. They say in fear. In fear. We are here to buy food. Joseph wanted to know if they still hated one another. Bring your youngest brother next time and prove that you are not spies. Joseph saw that they care of Benjamin. He saw them help each other to keep Benjamin safe. Joseph wanted to ask them about his father and Benjamin, but he decided not to ask. He gave them enough food and let them go. To their hometown. <laughs> Joseph's brother came to Egypt to buy food again. They didn't realize Jesus. I know Joseph. <laughs> Joseph couldn't help help crying when he saw his brothers again. Brothers, I am Joseph. The brothers were scared. They thought that they they will be killed. But Joseph said, "It's all right, brothers. God sent me to Egypt before you. Let's live here in Egypt." Joseph forgave his brother. They lived happily together. Nine chapter. Oh, we will read this and we will read. Until 10. Yeah, only this chapter. The last chapter, right? The last chapter and then we'll the next, okay? Next time. Ninth chapter. Brave Mira Miriam. Exodus 2nd. Miriam was an Israel girl. Her family was lived in Egypt. The pharaoh of Egypt didn't like the people of Israel. The pharaoh ordered his men to kill all the Israelites' baby boys. Miriam's mother had a lovely baby boy. She didn't, she hide the boy and raised. Um, please wake up, please wake up. Huh?
Why? It is your turn. As the boy grows, it, it is baby. I know. You said boy. No, I said baby. Okay. <laughs> she couldn't hide him any longer. She laid her son in the basket. And placed him in the river. And placed him in the river. Okay. <laughs> I will sleep. I will be with the baby, said the Miriam. Miriam was a brave girl. Miriam followed the basket secretly. The baby cried in the basket. A woman came to the river to take a bath. She was a princess of Egypt. Look at the basket. She was surprised to see the lady in the basket. <laughs> I was this cute baby by myself. The princess said, I will call this baby Moses. I think you read two pages. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> because She's I said, gosh, it's like, Oh, because I took him out of the river. Moses <laughs> made the child out of the, I mean, a child out of the river. I, I miss a nurse, worried the princess. Miriam was watching everything. She ran to the princess and said, I know a woman she called can help you. Don't sleep! I have to sleep. My mother can take care of baby, said Miriam. The princess said, yes. So Miriam brought her mother. The princess asked her, I will pay you for nursing, nursing this baby. Oh, the mother was very happy to raise her own baby openly. Thank you. You're as you are such a few no brave girl, Miriam said. The mother, please wake up. Oh my God! <laughs> no. And it's the end, everybody. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. See you next time. See you next time. Bye.